Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a walkthrough of my Bath & Body Works. I figured I'd go in. It's been pretty much the whole month of April since I've been in. I'm on a no buy right now for Bath & Body Works stuff, so I'm not supposed to buy anything, but I wanted to check out if there's anything new there and just have a look around and sniff some of the new candles and things like that. So we're gonna head on over. Also, don't mind my like nose marks. That's just from wearing my sunglasses for too long, but yeah, we're gonna head on over to the store and see what we can find. All right, guys, we are walking on in to the store. This is my favorite store because honestly, it has little to barely any foot traffic. Um, here is the new or newer spring collection with the bubbly, what is this, buttercups and berry bellini, white tea and sage, which I'm not sure why they brought that out in this like Mother's Day collection. I, I like, I think the buttercups and berry bellini is really yummy though. And then the Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz, which is basically the Honeysuckle Peach Tea from last year, um, repackaged again. And they did have this cool Petals and Prosecco um, bath bomb. I think it's always fun to find those. I would never pay full price, but when they go on sale for SAS, I probably will pick one up. And then the butterfly display was right in front, right when you walk in. And honestly, I'm really thinking about getting that body scrub, you guys. Next time they have a good sale, I might just have to pick it up. But I do actually have a reward I could use it on. Okay, anyways, on the Tropical Collection, they do have some new hand soaps out. So we've got Mahogany Coconut, Turquoise Waters. Uh, I think this is Pink Water. No, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Oh my God, I'm so happy they brought that out in hand soap too. I'm gonna have to pick that up. I am running desperately low on hand soaps. Guava Colada sounds, dis sounds really yummy. I was supposed to say disgusting, you guys. No, it sounds yummy. Mango Papaya Paradise and passion fruit and banana flower and then honestly i really want a coconut scent i've been like dying for something summery so copper coconut sands is on my radar and then i did notice they had stocked up on their bath loofahs again and then around this side we've got a ton of the pink pineapple um antibacterial hand sprays and some more pineapple holders and then uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are all online exclusives. Bahama Passion Fruit Banana Flower, Waikiki Beach Coconut, and um, Fiji Guava Sunshine Teeny. Are they not? Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. Oh my god, can I talk? Are they not all online exclusives? I don't know. But um, they did bring back out Magnolia Charm for this year. So if you guys did not get a chance to try that, it is back. I've heard really good things. I personally... Don't really like it that much because it is very floral and I'm not a floral person, but oh my God, this body lotion is just so beautiful. This packaging is like so sleek and modern. I just thought that was beautiful. And then of course the aromatherapy tea blends and um, those just sound really yummy. I don't know. The bath uh, soak really is really enticing to me. Um, but yeah, that's it for aromatherapy stuff. I just pointing out that this is 1850, so you could not use a reward on it, which is kind of sad. And then around the back of the table, we've got some more of this the new love collection, the Coco Rose in all different forms. That one is a very pretty packaging too. And then fresh getaway, I did notice the shimmering body oil, which I think is new. I've never seen that on this display before. Um, and then We've got the new little candles, coconut and vetiver. You can pause for scents. I can't read that fast, honestly. Um, vanilla and santal. I like the coconut vetiver. This one was not that great, in my opinion. And then the bergamot and birch was also really nice and kind of like, you know, that manly, nice aroma scent. And then I did find the rainbow, whatever that is. I don't even know, a vase, I think. They've got these new candle holders for $24.50 and they also have a soap holder. Or no, sorry, that's a one-wick holder to match. And then another new line of soaps, which I think this packaging is, is just darling, especially for summer. We've got the Mermaid soap holder. She is only $18.95. That's unbelievable, actually. And the tiny mini puffer fish. I've never seen the small one, $24.95. Honestly, he looked kind of good with the Sedona Sands... Um, hand soap in it not gonna lie and they do have this line out also in um in room sprays and this was my favorite okay no not watermelon lemonade victoria the clam shell the clam the claw how much is it 
It is 1895. It's so beautiful. It's like pearlized. You can't really tell in the video, but it has this pearlized finish. It's gorgeous. And then yeah, bronze sunset. Anyways, nobody cares about that. Okay. Yes, Victoria, we've seen Sedona Sands. Um, not really something I would pick up personally because it's like a fresh scent. But they have a lot of nice scents in this uh, collection. Cabana Escape is a great summer scent. And what's next to it? We've got Lakeside Afternoon. That one is back in hand soap form. And then this one is Sea Salt and Lime, which actually sounds pretty good. Sounds like a margarita. <laughs> And then we do have this um, beautiful summer collection. I'm, I have to pick up Pink Shores soon. It's really, really right down my alley. And then the beautiful mermaid candle pedestal. Oh my God, so gorgeous. Oh gosh, how much was that? I think it said $69.95. And then I made the glitter go everywhere. It was so pretty. And then I did see these, um, these candles... Well, we've seen these before, but I just really love that holographic packaging. And I thought I would smell warm ocean breeze and love it. And I hated it. So put that right back. Um, but these single wicks, I had not seen this one before. Hibiscus Waterfalls just seemed like it was new packaging. But here is the new men's body care scent in fresh water, which it smelled delicious, ladies. It smelled really good. Italian bergamot, spring water, and oak moss. I think that bergamot really got me because it smelled amazing. They do have it in the cologne. They have it in every single form. My store had every single form at least. And they do also have it in the bar soap, which is $8.50, which is pretty much the same price as a hand soap. So I'm happy they left it at that price and didn't, you know, up the price on the um on the bar soaps and then the body wash. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sniff the cologne, which this is why I remember it smelling so good. Oh my gosh, it smelled amazing. You guys will have to let me know if your man uses the Bath & Body Works cologne if it lasts a long time because I got my boyfriend one, um, I can't remember what the scent was. Mm, I don't know. But uh, I got him one for Christmas and he's never used it so I can't testify. But anyways, here's some new wallflowers for you guys. This one's really pretty. I'm considering getting that one, honestly. And then a pan, little overview of these. Uh, this one is so cute. I think it lights up. Yeah, it lights up. It's basically like a little beach scene. It's so adorable. I just thought that was darling. I had to show you guys that. And then we do have this new little like cactus flower, which I think is cute if you have like a succulent theme in your home. Of course, the little blue truck is just so cute. That would honestly be really cute from spring to fall because like everybody uses the little blue trucks in fall. And then this lantern is just classic. I don't even think it's that new, but if you don't have a lantern like in your hallway for when it's dark at night, you absolutely need to get one or in your like bedroom, I mean your bathroom, sorry. And then here's a new line of summer um, sprays for room sprays, warm ocean breeze and a mango Mai Tai, which would be a really good bathroom spray. I think the fruity ones are my favorite for the bathroom. And then here's that summer collection, Paradise Cove, Sun Washed Citrus, Ocean Driftwood. I couldn't read that fast enough, Victoria. <laughs> and then there is this random Tiki Beach one in different packaging. And then I, my store has so many of these houses, nobody wants to buy these because they're $35. I understand it, but they're so gorgeous. And then they still have some Easter and some spring candles left as well, like early spring stuff that came out in January. And then we've got some new pocket backs. And the new little mini fine fragrance mist holders, which are super cool. I'm loving those. I think that was such a good idea of them to make the little holders for those. Um, just like they made the holders for the pocket backs. And then my store just has this random wall of a bunch of candle holders, which they had like literally every kind. And then some more pocket backs. Nothing new here, sadly. I did find this new Pina Colada exfoliating lip scrub. It is $12.50 though, so I would wait for a sale, but that's interesting and exciting. I do love their lip scrubs. And then Happy Birthday is Frosted Vanilla in this little mini shower gel and also in the mini fine fragrance mist, which I thought was a really good deal. 
And then we do have all these gift sets out for Mother's Day, which I thought is such a sweet idea, especially if your mom has like a signature scent that's like a thousand, a thousand wishes or whatever. You can get her those. Strong as a mother is a thousand wishes in the minis. And I was trying to read that. It was like $17.50, I think is what it said. You are wonderful to me, which is pure wonder. I thought that was adorable. The world is yours, which is at the beach, which is smart because it's about to be summertime. And then I did find this beautiful pink confetti glitter bag with strawberry pound cake in the hand soap. And then I think in the single wick as well. So that was just really fun if you're if your mom or whoever you're buying for loves like sparkly pink bags. And then they did have these little mini gift sets. Shell a bra? Celebra celebrate? Oh, oh my god, celebrate. I it's late, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one's happily ever after. And then the last one down here I think is gingham, right? Yeah, there's gingham. And this one is for you are the best. Okay, guys, we are back from Bath and Body Works. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. There was not a lot of new stuff. I mean, there's some new gift sets for Mother's Day, which is great, but like that's it. Um, I think we're not gonna get anything new probably until like the first week of May. And that's probably when that like different summer collection is gonna come out with like Beach Night Summer Marshmallow and stuff like that. I am so excited to smell that one. I am like, honestly, dying to get my hands on it and I'm going to get it in a full size set. So, but anyways, yeah, we're probably not going to see a lot until May, a lot of new stuff until May, but yeah, that's everything for today's video. I did not purchase anything. Like I said, I'm on a no buy, which means no products in the month of April. I cannot purchase from Bath and Body Works. Well, body care in general, but from Bath and Body Works too. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video.